it so he can get his get his judgment at the end. But Esau is taking it to a whole nother level, man. So this is the wicked, the so-called white man. Go ahead. For there are no beds in their death, but their strength is firm. Right? Esau don't believe that this kingdom is falling, man. Esau, he believes that this kingdom is going to go on for hundreds and hundreds of more years, man. But guess what? The Most High got a cake baked for him, man. He got a cake baked for you, for you ignorant Israelites that think that Esau's kingdom is going to continue. You got kids and you want your kids to grow up and, and be uh, uh, NBA players so they can buy you a new car, pay off all your debt. All right? No. The so-called white man's kingdom is going to fall, man. Go ahead. They are not in trouble as other men. Yeah, and, and who, is that, who is that talking about? He, they're not in trouble as other men. Why are they not in trouble as other men? You got them high banking elites. They living good, man. They living on a private island that's probably not even on the radar. You got even a, even a uh, low-level Edomites compared to them like Warren Buffett's. You know, um, um, uh, it's, it's, a, it's a bunch of them devils, man, that are living good. But guess what? You in the slums, you living paycheck to paycheck, and you praising the so-called white man. You happy that you got a job that pays $30 an hour. The so-called white man ain't even got to work. Like your brother always used to say, it's true, because I've seen it done in my job. You have, you have one of the main, the CEO or some shit, walk through the, you know, walk through the plant, you know, act, act like he cares about what's going on, pointing at things, and... And then he's out, man. He's off for the rest of the year. And he's going to make ten times more than you doing nothing. And this is the kingdom that you want to continue on for, for decades and decades to come. No, forget that, man. The kingdom of heaven is coming, man. If you think that the so-called white man's kingdom is going to last, the, the most high is going to kill you, man. Straight up. I want, I want to say, boy, let's, let's get into that. I want, I, want to, I want to get into that. They're not in trouble as other men. Neither are they plagued like other men, right? Yeah, they're they not living in the slums. And they talk, and they, they, you know, you know, let's go. Because I think I'm going to jump the gun. Therefore, pride compasses them about as a chain. Yeah, Esau think he's the, the greatest people to ever uh, to ever set foot <coughs> upon earth, man. Well, actually, he's the most destructive. That's why Esau does these proud things. That's why he's a proud, uh, proud person. He think he can't be touched, man. What they say, what they, what they call this land, all the virgin, uh, old virgin daughter of Babylon, because they ain't never had no foreign troops on this land, man. They ain't never had, had they never had to face war head on in their own country, man. That's why they think they're better than everybody. Meanwhile, they're bombing other countries for resources. You know, and they're, they're blaming it on, um, they're blaming it on terrorists. They got these false flag attacks. That was the Las Vegas, a false flag attack to get your mind off of what's really going on with, with the Americans really about to go to war, man. But they got you focusing on the Las Vegas shooting. Meanwhile, you down, say so you download the RT app, or one of those um, international news apps. Your phone is going to be going off all day because there's so much things going on in the world. But you're yeah. focused on. The Las Vegas shootings, or some some minor uh, situation that's going on. They ain't even worried about that. I, they worried about Gucci Man getting married. You know what I'm saying? They worried about things in this world. Yeah. They worried about uh, uh, the, the, the black and white party, the Halloween party that's coming up, the masquerade ball, getting their kids some costumes and shit. Yep. You know, they worried about all manner of wickedness besides what's really important. You know what I'm saying? What's really going on? All the laws is getting passed. Yeah. All the all the documentation that's on file right now to come take away all your freedoms. Yep. And you see they give like like, like we said, they, you see they give you freedom of speech, so-called freedom of speech. But then guess what? You can't like 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 those uh, the, the NFL thing. They, a lot of niggas are still focused on that too. But just as an example, they start taking these in the NFL, and guess what? They said you can't, you can't do that uh, during the national anthem no more. That's freedom of speech. But they took that away from you. They just, just because they feel that was right, man. They feel like you're disrespecting the country. 
Uh, this is Proverbs 16 and 18. Yep. Pride goes before destruction yep. and a haughty spirit before a fall. Yep. And, and guess what? The proudest man on the face of the earth is about to take the biggest fall ever, man. Yeah. The biggest fall you ever see. It says this, this is, the destruction is going to be like something we've never seen, man. And that proves it. Esau has a, a high level, a super saiyan level of pride, man. And the only person that can stop him, we, we, we can come out here and do this work, you know, and we, we can curse the so-called white man out and tell him about himself, but the only person that can stop him is Yah Bashim Yahweh Shai, man. We don't have the power to stop the so-called white man. But guess what? When the Most High come back and do his thing, it's going to be beautiful. 10, 15, 20 years in America. Man, call Halab Yah Bashim Yah Shai, 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 destroy America, man. I'm tired of this place, man. Go ahead. Therefore, pride compasses about them as a chain; violence covers them as a garment. Right. Yeah, yeah. I mean, it says violence covers them as a garment. You know what I'm saying? Everywhere they go, their hand is in wickedness. Their hand is in violence. They go over. They uh, they shoot up. Uh, Iraq, they take over Afghanistan, they beef with uh, North Korea, with Russia. Everywhere they go, uh, it's got to, they, of course, that's they, they uh, birthright was the sword. So, they, of course, they're going to use it. You know, like, why you want to go to war with Venezuela? Venezuela can't even stand on their own, too. And you talking about going to war with them. Why? Because you see they weak, and they got what you need is that oil. Yeah, resources. That's it. What's going on? What's going on? What are you guys up to? What's your, what's your uh, belief? What's my belief? I believe in God. What about you? Same here. That's, that's why we got the 12 tribes up here. Are you familiar with the 12 tribes of Israel? No, I'm not. Oh, okay. Well, well how, long, how long have you... Uh, Consider yourself a believer in God. Couple years. Couple years. Yeah, that's, that's, these, these are one of the these are one of the first things. Not it's not the first thing. The most important thing is to go forward and believe in the um, scriptures. But, uh, these are the ones that you keep opponents. It's in the Bible. You know what I'm saying? I've read the Bible twice. I'm, I'm still reading it again for the third time through. It's pretty interesting. So you read the Bible and you ain't come across the 12 tribes of Israel? Well, I, I'm still trying to understand that, you know, I'm really sorry. So what, what, what tribe do you own? What nationality are you? That's a real question. If you read the Bible twice, then this, this, should, this should at least sink in a little bit. It's just, just a, a little bit. What's your nationality? You know? I'm not coming here to be condescending. No, 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 no. I'm just asking because it's all it's all in sincerity. If, if somebody comes up and I'm selling food, and you come up to me with you know dineros, and I only accept cash. It's not being condescending. I'm trying to figure out who you are, so I can direct you in the right path. You know what I'm saying? Because nationality does uh, uh, play a part in salvation. Go as far as you know, teaching. 
So, so what's your nationality? What's your, on your father's side? French. French. Yeah. Most likely you go back to the to the tribe of Edom. is, is uh, prophesied to receive utter destruction. So, in your case, you better hope and pray that your seed line doesn't go back to Edom, all right? Because, telling you straight frankly, Edom has done all this destruction in the world, Edom is behind it. Sure, you can say, oh, is this country involved, that country is involved, but you, you know, at the end of the day, as a whole, Edom is behind this whole destruction. And as the scriptures say in Obadiah, the earth is given into the hands of the wicked. Okay? Now you can say, oh, there's there's bad black people, there's bad Japanese people. But when you're talking about taking taking over countries, destroying countries, bombing countries, uh, uh, letting countries suffer, well, you know, we all know who has control of the world. Okay? You know what I'm saying? And it's not just not the Africans. It's not the Japanese. You don't see the Japanese on the news telling anybody what to do and what they should and shouldn't do. All right? So, let's keep that up. Let's keep that up. All right? You got something? Uh, I got a little okay. thing. Go ahead. This yeah. is uh, Obadiah, uh, verse 12. But thou shouldest not have looked on the day of thy brother and the day that he became a stranger. Yeah, like, like they're, they're saying that, that Edom might just show up white people like you used to love thy neighbor. Don't you know that the, the, the Negroes, Latinos, the Native Americans, and the Edomites, or so-called white people, are, are closely, more closely related than Africans? You know what I'm saying? But look all the hatred that's been, that's been um, um, imparted on them. Now, sure, you can say that there's people, that there's uh, black people, so-called people of color that are in this country that are doing wild things and things uh, uh, that could prove you right, but we didn't create the KKK. You know what I'm saying? We didn't create the Federal Reserve. We didn't. We didn't impart hardcore slavery on people based off of color. See what I'm saying? So then the same people that did that turn around and tell us that they're our brother. All right. So it's good to see this right here. Neither shouldest thou rejoice over the children of Judah in the day of their destruction. Neither should thou have spoken proudly in the day of distress. Thou should not have entered into the gate of my people in the day of their calamity. Yea, thou should not have looked on their affliction in the day of their calamity, nor laid hands on their substance in the day of their calamity. Neither should thou have stood in the, in the crossway to cut off those of his that did escape. Yeah, because at a point, now this is on my past and present, you know what I'm saying? Because in the past, you had us, Israelites, he was like, you know, Native Americans, mainly, Christian and Jews and Levi, were going to war with the Babylonians. And, and when we fled to escape, you had Edomites that had just kept, kept us and sent us to the Babylonians for no reason just because they hated us as a nation. And the reason why they hated us is it goes back all the way to uh, the book of Genesis, uh, uh, this is the 27th chapter, which is the 25th chapter, when we took the birthright. This thing is spiritual. This is, this is in our spirit. This is not how we are how you are taught, you know what I'm saying? It has a part to play with it, you know what I'm saying? Just like, you can, you can, I could be born in North Omaha, I could be born out west, I could be born in whatever land, but I'm still going to have the flavor of the Israelites, you know what I'm saying? And that's why I always say that we're not African, because in there it is, Africans have been on that side of the world, we've been on this side of the world for plenty of years, hundreds of years, and then we come together and we don't act nothing alike. 
But I guarantee you, if you take a Brazilian or you take a Mexican, we act more similar than Africans. Why? Because we, we are the same tribe. Okay? So I want to read this and continue. Go ahead. Yeah, it's a, it's the book of Obadiah. It's the book of Obadiah. It's it's one of the books. If you ever go to church and read the Bible, you know what I'm saying? Ask them to read that and ask them who the Edomites are. You know what I'm saying? And then and then go to Genesis 25 and read for yourself the action passage. You know, because just like Paul in the Church of Berea, the Church of Berea challenged Paul. You know what I'm saying? And he, Paul said, I think there's one of them just tell you anything. They look through the books as to see if it was so. You know what I'm saying? Because too, too many people go to church and the pastor just say it and they go home and regurgitate it. You know what I'm saying? That's not how it works. You know, you're supposed to listen to it. Be like that makes sense. Let me go through the scriptures and make sure it's the truth. Okay? So go ahead. Verse 14. Neither should thou have stood in the crossway to cut off those of those of his that did escape. Neither should have thou delivered up those of his that did remain in the day of his distress. Mm -hmm. For the day of the Lord is near upon all the heathen. Mm 